You may not know what a data breach is, but you've definitely heard of it happening. Facebook, Twitch, T-Mobile, these are just a few companies that experienced breaches in 2021. But what exactly is a data breach? How does it happen and what can you do to protect yourself against it? Keep watching to find out. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. Now let's dive into the definition of data breaches. A data breach is a security incident that affects personal data. It exposes sensitive or protected information to someone who has no right to have that data, like a hacker. Anyone can be at risk of a data breach, from individuals to governments. But why would a hacker need your personal data in the first place? Well, usually the driving force is financial gain. There's quite a lot of money to be made from your financial or confidential information. However, sometimes hackers also seek to damage the reputation of companies, institutions, or individuals. So how do data breaches happen? In general, the cause is weakness in technology or user behavior. Let me explain. For example, malicious outside criminals or hackers can use various attacks to gather information from a network or an individual like you or me. The most popular forms of attacks hackers use are phishing, brute force attacks, and malware. Attackers might want to alter the stolen data or expose you by sharing it publicly. Or another example. Let's say an employee is using a coworker's computer and reading files without permission. The access is unintentional and no information is shared, but because it was viewed by an unauthorized person, the data is considered breached. Breaches can also happen because of malicious insiders. They can purposely access and or share data with the intent of causing harm to an individual or company. The malicious insider may have legitimate authorization to use the data, but the intent is to use it in nefarious ways. If someone sends personal data to an incorrect recipient, even if it's done accidentally, that is also considered a data breach. The last example is when an unencrypted and unlocked laptop or external hard drive, basically anything that contains sensitive information, goes missing. That is also considered a data breach. Let's say a breach happened and you were a victim. What consequences can you expect? Usually data breaches cannot just be patched up with some password changes. The effects of a data leak can be a lasting issue for your reputation, finances, and more. Most often, a leaked database will contain email addresses, passwords, account IDs, password hashes, and IP addresses. For individuals who are involved in a data breach, identity theft is a major threat. Data leaks can reveal everything from social security numbers to credit card details. Once a criminal has these details, they can engage in all types of fraud under your name. Theft of your identity can ruin your credit, pin you with legal issues, and it's really difficult to fight back against. You might also become a victim of blackmail. Hackers might take over your account with the help of leaked data and try to blackmail you or demand ransom. In fact, 75% of email addresses are leaked with passwords for the services and websites they're tied to. This combination gives hackers full access to many online platforms we use daily. And not only you will be in danger, cyber criminals might use your account or device to spread viruses to your contacts. For business organizations, a data breach can have a devastating effect on reputation and finance. Organizations such as Equifax, Target, and Yahoo, for example, have been the victims of a data breach. And today, many people associate these companies with the data breach incidents rather than their actual business operations, not to mention the potential lawsuits that can end in financial loss for the company. For government organizations, compromised data can mean exposing highly confidential information to foreign parties military operations, political dealings, and details on essential national infrastructure can pose a major threat to a government and its citizens. Okay, all this sounds pretty terrifying, and you're probably starting to worry about your personal data. But fear no more, because that's why I'm here. Here are a few best practices on how you can avoid data breaches. Always. And I mean always update your software as soon as options are available. You would not believe the number of breaches that happen due to a single bug which opens up doors for hackers to exploit. Upgrade your devices when the software is no longer supported by the manufacturer. Outdated software usually means a lot of security holes. Use strong passwords and multi-factor authentication. A password manager can be very helpful to keep track of all your unique passwords. 
Use a VPN, antivirus, and firewalls for additional layers of security. Inform law enforcement when you experience a hack. Avoid clicking on suspicious links, especially the shortened ones. Use encrypted cloud services instead of regular ones. And if you're an owner of a company, you must educate your employees on the best security practices and ways to avoid socially engineered attacks. It's really easy to fall for a well-organized phishing attack if you're uneducated about it. And enforce security policies like requiring all devices to use a business-grade VPN service and antivirus protection. Thank you for watching. And before you leave, don't forget to check out our other videos or click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that.